Why, hello, one and all. Welcome back to Side Quest and Elden Ring, the DLC. Who's ready to frolic in the flower fields a little longer? It's lovely out here. This is the stuff musicals are made of, and we're going to keep on running around a bit because I think, listen, we could go exploring the Finger Forest any old time, and we will, but that's going to be a whole other thing, it feels like. And we've already explored around here a little bit. Let's let's wrap up time out on the pleasant blue flower beach area. Because I feel like it is going to be much more pretty and overall less scary than Fingerville. Maybe I'm wrong. But I somehow doubt it. Don't get shot! Didn't come up here yet. Thank you. Interesting seeing a bunch of those placed in such important feeling places. Yeah. Get out of range. Did I come down here? I don't think I did. Hey, ghosts. What you up to? Stacking rocks. You're having a mellow time. I'll leave you be. And a bunch of you are looking out at that island, it kind of looks like. Most curious. Look at that. Not often you see a blue and white sunrise, but boy. That rules. What an incredible looking game. It's so cool seeing the, like, overall arc of FromSoft as a studio and their, like, what they can do. Just the path from, like, Demon's Souls to here. And really, it's a lot longer than that. FromSoft has been around forever. But, like, modern FromSoft as we know it kind of kicked off around the Demon Souls, Dark Souls time. And the journey from there on the PS3 to here on the PS5 era is bonkers. So cool. We're gonna have to deal with that dragon at some point. I should stop putting it off. We got our light discus, we got... What summon would I want to bring in? There's not a lot of great summons for a dragon fight. I guess Tish did pretty good against the other one. She quick. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Please don't hit me with whatever you're about to throw. Ghost flame, probably. Yipes. You know, this ranged approach is kind of working, but my hammer would probably work better. Look out. Well, it's honestly not tons more damage. What did you just... 
You just summoned hell. And then obliterated it. Good fake out. Eesh. Ah, slightly too slow. On the heel. Gonna have to move a little quicker. But yeah, the discus was actually doing pretty decent work for being able to stay mounted up and mobile. I may try that. Call in Tish for the ground level distraction and the massive amount of damage in her own right. And just keep on throwing frisbees until a dragon explodes. Yes, it sounds silly when I say it out loud, but you saw it was working. Especially with, like, how many times I can kind of, like, connect with the dragon. With just one frisbee throwing through. Yipes. Excuse me. Yeah, I really should stay mounted up. Yeesh. Look out. And now the summoning begins. Yes. Wah. Didn't see that coming. Sorry, Torrent. Now the summoning happens, okay. Now you're a little more obnoxious. And the discus may be a little unreliable at this point. Yeah. Slows me down too much. Per hit. Ouch. Goodness. All right, all right. I'm drinking, do you mind? Time out. Oh, boy. Can't just bail on the fight, man. Now. I appreciate you knocking out so many of your little minions. Oh boy. Nope. Yeah, all your little minions definitely do add threat. Now it's not what I meant to target, but maybe now. Eh, that didn't really do anything. He moved again, darn it. Stop running. That didn't work as well as I hoped. Thanks, Tish. Doing great. Now those will go hit. A little. Still not as much as I was hoping. I better hurry this up before Tish is out of here. Yep. Thank you, Tombstone. What hit me? Yeah. Hit the feats. Yeah. Now, 
That's not great. Yipes. Whew. Well, no more healing now. No, throw. Hit it. Ah. I was just panicking and hitting buttons, and that didn't help at all. Ah! Closer. We can do better. The minions definitely complicate things. I would consider going down on foot to fight it. If it weren't for them, but they'll surround me pretty bad. We could try getting under it and doing some lightning. That would also potentially shred its little buddies. I actually like that. Let's swap out one flask use. Just because this is a lot more expensive. There. This is definitely opening us up to getting very hit each time we do it. But I feel like lightning is going to be pretty effective. Maybe not quite as effective as Holy, but... I'm not sure I've got an incantation that is Holy that is going to do quite... the same effect that this is going to. Okay. Let's give this another try. Catch. Ah, I do need to actually be able to cast it, too. That's the other problem. There we go. Decent amount of damage each time. If you can make it work. Whew, got underneath it. Not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that's gonna miss. Help. It is fun using a little bit more of a, like a mage tactic though, for a change. Yeah. Yipes. Those big wing attacks. That's gonna hurt. If I'm too close. Here come the minions. Hopefully this will help. And it's gonna run, but hopefully this will clear out the minions anyway. Yipes. Not enough of them. Need more FP. working, though. Damage is being done. Now don't leave. Wait. Wait for the lightning, at least. Thank you. Ah, I was hoping jumping would get me over at the attack. Alas. Ah. Late on the roll. Time to go. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeesh. really can't jump over that nonsense in a way that I hoped I could. Okay, we can outrun breath attacks if we gotta. It's just the big wing swipes that'll really shred you if you're not ready. And you're running. Oh no, you're stopping. That I can work with because I've almost got you. 
too early. Here, come on. Almost got you, just got it. Managed to hit you in the foot. There we go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, and you're still here. Lovely. Did you blow yourself up? No, you didn't. Stop. Stay down. Okay, there. Is that all of them? Good. This field is now much safer to explore. Oh, we can't even revive Torrent now. Silly me. Well, whatever, I have a thing right over here. There we go. Let's explore this little area a little more thoroughly. Now that the dragon is out of the way. Not expecting a ton down here, given it's largely a battlefield, I imagine, but... Could be some neat things hidden around. How do you get out there? I wonder. Anything hidden? No? Okay. Anything in the center? Nope. What about at the base of this? I feel like the base of this would be a great spot for a tortoise. Exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Perfect spot for a tortoise and nothing else. That was weird. <laughs> Every now and then the skulls which have, like, a single little rune in them. Bounce around or fly off as they spawn in, in a weird way. Which is probably a bug, but an amusing one. It has jump scared me at least once. Yeah, seems like this is largely a battlefield, but... Just to be diligent. Through there is how we're going to get up this way. I'm pretty sure. Hey, ghosts. Not here to wreck any parties. Since I don't see any shinies. Carry on. Really hard to determine what is sculpted into these walls. Or carved is probably the better term. Arted.
But yeah, almost always a very high level glove wart. At each of these. Hmm. Huh. It has to be somewhat significant, I just can't solve in my head for what that could possibly mean. Usually we find glove wart in catacombs and places where the dead are held, often in the kind of places where dead would go, where you might also encounter those who live in death. That doesn't narrow it down. That's this entire area. <laughs> this entire area is filled with stuff like that. You're going to have to be more specific flowers on structures, given your surroundings. I've kind of ridden through here before, too. Somewhat hastily, but... Haven't been up this way, though, like through the canyon down here, so that's also a thing to check out. Can I get up here onto this one? Maybe. Yep, there we go. And hey, there's another. Huh. All right, some shinies here. Just gotta be a little careful and quick about it. Ow, and that's why. Boy, that stings. Right, and you, I forgot about you. Yeah, you do your so many swipes. And that probably hurts a lot. Not as much as you'd hope. Yeah. Ow, uh, goodness. Yeah. Look out, return trip. <laughs> Love it. What do we got? Gravekeeper's Cookbook. A record of crafting techniques of the gravekeepers who watch over those who rest in the realm of shadow. Peak bone arrows and bolts. What even are those? I don't know what peak bone is. Peak bone, peak bone. With a putrescence soaked tip. That doesn't help. Uh, tip is soaked in putrescence. Okay. Releases a white smoke at the point of impact, luring in foes of human builds who are not in combat and drawing their aggression. Effective on demi-humans even if they're already in a combat. Oh, okay, so it's like a lure thing. That's kind of cool. How do you get over there? It's got to be like a catacomb or a cave or something that you emerge out that side in. It's gotta be. Or there's like a shallow reef that you can run along somewhere. Hmm. I'm gonna grab these. The worms here are way more chill. That's nice. I 
Oi. Hang in there, Torrent. I might as well go ahead and feed you some raisins, because you're very low. And I think I have a bunch. I don't use them very often. Here, have some nice ones. Hmm, maybe some more. So many items. There you go. Not seeing a whole lot else in this spot. It's just so much ground to cover. I guess that's just Elden Ring for you. Yep, definitely not anything you can walk on there that I'm seeing. Let's start going through one of those little cave tunnels to kind of the adjoining areas. See what all this connects to. I guess more of a canyon in this case. I can summon, which is concerning. Why? Who? Who's here? Someone's here. What are you? You. You are a demi-human. You are like... Our little bud. Yosh. Your weapon looks like it does more poisony things. That's... Concerning. Well, I know how to fight you. But I also think that, uh... It would feel dramatically appropriate to have a proper duel here. Yes? I am game for talking, I just don't expect that's what you are here to do. You know? Where are you? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yosh, help! Time to bully. Time to bully a lot. Bully a lot. There we go. Whew. Good work, Yosh. That's it? Huh. I expected more of an item drop. They were definitely the boss or mini-boss that I was able to summon help for, though, so... Huh. Huh. I expected a much more revealing drop from that. It's 
surprising. Check the waterfall just in case. Nope. Okay. I see another demi-human, but they seem more... standard? A couple of them, actually. Hello. Not necessary. Thank you. Wah. What are... Wah. These explode. Help! The worms explode. The vertical ones. They blow up. I was not quite prepared for that. <laughs> Hadn't even fully registered that these were just fully upright. Ow. <laughs> worms. Why? Why do this? It is pretty funny. Ow. Terrible aim. There we go. Alright, more lightning sprites. Don't love that. Where are we? Okay, back this way. Huh. Where is this headed? Move. Tight circles around them, tight circles around them, okay. That's how you do it. Just stay ahead of their aim. There you go. Huh. Why a summoning pool? Why can I summon help? Whoa. Oh, okay, no, that's just one of those things. But, um... What is that one in the middle? I see some smaller demi-humans. I see a very big one, which is, I think, similar to some of the ones we fought before. That one in the middle, though... ...is more concerning. Tish, let's have you on standby. Is that just a misbegotten beat? There's something different about that one. It's got two daggers, it's got like a lot of horns going on with its spine. Which doesn't look super comfortable. And then also, yeah, like, it seems like we've got a ruler of theirs. This could get a little messy. I would definitely like backup. This is going to turn into a brawl. Very quickly. Hello. Well, here we go. Yeah, a lot of bones on this thing. I guess a lot of these are clothing rather than just growing out of you, but... Oh. 
And the big one's not getting up yet. Great. That simplifies things. You guys are probably very bullyable. With the claws. Doing good work over there. This one probably has more poise. Not that it mattered. Okay, you're up now, huh? Yeah, you're like... We've, we've fought one or two of you before. No. Demi-human queen, yes. Mariga. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty... Seems like they're making a pretty good joke there. And you're hard to target. With my claw hits. Hold still. Ow. Yeah. Claw doesn't reach you super good. Hammer will do better. Yipes. Bonk. Not too bad at all. Thanks, Teach. Starline Sword. That's very intelligence stat sounding, but let's have a look. Oh yeah, a katana with intelligence dexterity. All right. Sword encrusted with a line of stars fashioned from small pieces of crude glintstone, weapon of the demi-human swordsman. When bestowed with this weapon by their queen, the swordsmen swear to find the truth that lies at the end of the procession of stars. Anza's line of stars. Anz again. This skill, named after a demi-human swordmaster, imbues sorceress energy into lined glint stones and executes a slash attack. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks, each dealing greater damage than the last. Does this let you do Anza's wild jumping sword swipe moves? I bet so. This looks like a very fun dex intelligence weapon. Also, Polterstones, that's new. Uh, creates noises imitative of human presence where it lands when thrown. Said to have been used by the solitary gravekeepers to distract themselves from their longing for company. Neat. Wait, we could get another level, finally. It's been a while. And there's more of you out here. I can probably handle you to solo. Probably, unless I'm really sloppy. Go on. Very pretty. Anything else hidden back here? I bet there's something up this way. More demi-humans, sure, but also... something else? No? Actually, no? Well, okay. I don't see anything, anyway. All right. I'm good with calling this little nook done. Let's head another direction. We went this way. This way goes... Hmm. Wait, hang on. 
No, there's also this way. I haven't gone this way. But I'm not seeing a whole lot else, no. No, this is more of a dead end. With some very good tall worms. Back through here, we can go this way, which is, I think, going to connect ultimately to this spot, which we could have gotten to through here as well. I assume. Let's find out. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just get a cool sword. And then move on. I think I will. I'll read it when things aren't yelling at me. Have I seen up here? Eh, nothing. Okay, so... Just a lot of demi-humans and a couple cool swords this way. One of which is the Spirit Sword. Sharp blade sculpted into a twisted shape. A sword that has seen many years of use in the gravesite, said to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. Rancor Slash. Spin around slashing foes while summoning vengeful spirits, which chase down foes. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Another dexterity intelligence one. Neat, though. Cool swords is. All right. Let's go around and head up. How are we getting over there? I'm so curious. This is one of those things that is either... I'm going to get many hours further in to this DLC and then wind up over there by accident and be able, like, oh, that's how you, that's how you do it. Neat. Or there's something very obvious that I'm missing here. I'm going to, I'm going to come back later and then see how to get over there and be like, oh, that, oh, oops. That's how you get over there. Those are the two outcomes. We'll find out together which it is. Nothing else hidden back here that I was missing, right? It's very dark. Not that this helps a ton, but... It's the best I can do. For light. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty done in this stretch, which is nice. Nice having some more places of the map we can check off the list. But then this away. Let's go and get that level. Um. Yeah, let's keep working on Vigor. Get it up to 60. Can't go wrong with HP. Hey, another one of those. Yay. And gold goats? I wonder if I can just harm this one regularly. It doesn't have armored feats that I can tell, so I think I could just get back to my old tricks.
Oh, we got the thunder rolling goats. <laughs> Let's do take this out. Otherwise, I think it's going to be very annoying trying to explore around here. Wait. There. You. I'm getting back to old tricks. Did it work? Hope so. Hey, crabs, you're gonna want to stand back. Yeah, got a little staggered there. Boy, it's gonna take a while doing this. Pardon me, crab. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Forgot about the range on that, goodness. Nope. Ow. No grabbing, please. A little slow there, that's fine. Maybe I should just hit you. Oops. And remember to jump. There we go. Yeah. See this? This might just be faster. Look at that. The damage. Oh boy. I wonder if I can block. Only if I actually block. Ha! Nope. Not enough to knock you over, though. Come on. Yeah, I should just use those as an opportunity to do a big jump attack. There you go. Beautiful. I actually fall over, though. Too early. I'm okay. Fall over. Come on. You gonna fall over or what? There you go. Fall over, fall over, fall over. Yes! You're doomed. Boom! Two furnaces, two episodes. Feels good. Viridian hidden tear. A crystal tear formed slowly over the ages where the scattered sap of this shadow tree pools deep within the furnace. Golems can be mixed in the right. The resulting concoction eliminates all stamina consumption. However, this effect is only brief and will quickly expire. That makes sense. Otherwise, that'd be wicked broken. <laughs> I feel like. Yay! I'm getting a little better at taking those things out. Well, now that's handled. I'm gonna go rest up back here. At the Grace Fire. Which one? This one. And we will explore around a little more on Thursday. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you then for more exploring around. Goodbye!